One day I was describing one shloka, Bhagavad Gita, and try to think in this way that whatever you are offering in your stomach, you are doing a sacrificial, you know, yagya. And you are offering to divine. And one person came to me and he asked, Swamiji, you know we are living in this hilly area, we all are <coughs> eating meat. How we can offer all this divine? I told him, yeah, you should try. Okay. <coughs> and one day, the next day, when he, you know, went for eating, and there was whatever they were, you know, eating, that flesh and so many things and dirty things, <coughs> and he closed his eyes. He prayed Lord Krishna. He told that, I love Lord Krishna. I told, okay, then when you take your food, you remember Lord Krishna and offer first your food to Lord Krishna. When he closed his eyes and he was remembering Lord Krishna, he told me that he saw Lord Krishna with butter hand. No? Lord Krishna, he leaving butter in his hand <coughs> and a small, you know, you know, in a child form and he was sitting. When he saw him in that way, and he saw his own food, and he, <laughs> he was troubled. How I can offer this thing? Don't you think to law? Okay? And he called his wife, but oh, take it off. You know, I don't want to eat it. <laughs> okay? And he became vegetarian. His whole family. And after some years, when I went there again, there was hundreds of family, all vegetarian. Those, you know, who came in by contact and uh, become practitioner of this practice, become vegetarian. Because they told me that when they are, you know, closing their eyes and praying God for food, and their heart was <coughs> always, you know, uh, dejecting him due to that, they left. So, my dear, if you will. Feel always divinity in every moment, in every where your life will be divine. This is yoga. Yoga means to be united with Godhead and feel divine, feeling always. Will be happy person. No desire, no craving, no patient, no temptation. You will feel ecstasy, ecstasy always. Be attitude will be your own without any effort. This is a great method. How to bring a heaven on the earth. This is a good method. Not a strict method. So be aware about it. And whatever I described today in this sloka, try to create divine feeling always in your food, in your behavior, in your activities, in your sleeping, in your waking these five form of your daily routine. If you will relate, all your daily routine will be divine. And you will see that divine Father is omnipresent, omnipotent, omniscient. He is seeing everything, whatever you are doing. <coughs> As your child is doing good work, and you are seeing you become <coughs> always blessing him. But if your child is doing wrong work then, you are cursing him always. Okay? The same way, my dear, if you, if you lead divine life, then divine father will bless you. And your life will be boon of divine father. Be it. Otherwise, if you act against divine law, then your life will be cursed of divine father. May God bless you all. May he lead you all from unreal to real from darkness to light, from death to immortality. May he sour upon you all his divine grace, may he bestow upon you all his divine love and wisdom. Oh, peace in the heaven, peace in the space,
peace in the earth. Om Kram Kram. Now, if you try to pray with me. Om Bhruvaswa. Om Bhruvaswa. Tatsavitur Varenyam. Tatsavitur Varenyam. Vargo Deva Siddhimahi. Vargo Deva Siddhimahi. Yo Yo Nakchodaya. Yo Yo Nakchodaya. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina. Sarve Santu Niramaya, Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu, Makasya Dukkha Bhag Bhavet, Om Purnamadaha, Om Purnamadaha,